local, late breaking. This is your first alert forecast. Heather Rowe and Dan Maris have more of today's news for you. Plus, Damian Alameda is still ahead with sports. I'm meteorologist Chuck George on a snowy day in southern Arizona. It does happen, doesn't it? Let's get to it. Want to show you a live look. This is from uh, just north of Oro Valley and south of Catalina. We're kind of in the Saddlebrook area here, and we're looking at the Catalina Mountains. Beautiful, right? Let's take a look at the Tucson Mountains. They were also covered in snow today. You know when the Tucson Mountains get covered that that snow is going to make it down into the city, and that it is doing. Let's go to the maps, show you what's happening. We've got a freeze warning in effect. Want to alert you to that for the agricultural areas of Pinal County, a freeze warning in effect tonight. We're all going to freeze, but we've frozen a lot here in southern Arizona, so there's no warning since it's not a new thing for us. Look at all this snow tonight. We're under winter weather advisories. The city of Tucson, some very light precipitation, but a batch of heavier stuff is about to move in. Down south and east of us, I'll show you the maps in motion in a minute. This is just the beginning for you folks in Cochise County, so get ready. And also, look, it's making it all the way down almost to Oracle Road now. Winter weather advisories, region by region. I'm going to throw a lot at you right now, but it's very important for tomorrow morning. In the city of Tucson and the Tucson Metro, one inch with slick bridges in the morning. I think they will be very slick in spots, so please be careful in the morning commute. We go a little higher above Green Valley, Golder Ranch, Saddlebrook, Catalina, Tubac, Vale, Benson, Nogales, Douglas, and Oracle. We are talking one to three inches of uh, snow and slick roads in the morning, not just bridges, but roads as well. Then we go even higher. Now we're in Tombstone, Sierra Vista, Sonoida, and Bisbee. Three to six inches of snow. You will have snow-packed roads overnight and into your morning commute. The mountaintops, they've already gotten seven inches up on Mount Lemmon, so this forecast, we might need to bump it up to about 10 inches of snow for the mountains, which is good news. Maybe we'll get that ski resort open again. Meanwhile, about 32 in the morning for the low. By 8 o'clock, we're up to 34, and then 52 to 54 for the afternoon high. A beautiful day to head out to the gym show tomorrow. You'll just need a coat, but it will be bright and sunny. Today's high before lunch was 54. 29 was our morning low. We'll likely get down close to that again tonight. We still have light precipitation. It's a mixture of rain and snow in Tucson, 37 degrees. Our humidity is well way up there at almost 100%. Fog will form overnight, and as we see those temps drop to freezing, that means that we will likely see freezing fog bridges a mess in the morning. Please be careful. 32 right now in Sierra Vista. You're down to freezing and it's snowing. It's still 45 in Douglas. The cold front just pushing through Douglas right now after it moved through our area at about 1 o'clock this afternoon, 1, 1 Here's the area of low pressure that we've been watching. It's winding up right over southern Arizona. It's pulling down cold air from the Rockies, pulling up tropical moisture from the south. And you put all this together and you get this widespread area of precipitation tonight. This is the motion. You can see it coming in from the southwest. And as the sun sets, we're all going to be seeing snow, even in Tucson. But we are, as I said, seeing snow in Sierra Vista and the metro, that snow level really coming down the mountains, accumulating, especially on the bridges by tomorrow morning. Here's the map in motion. Look at all this snow in Cochise County. We're not just talking about the mountains. We're talking about the valleys as well. Over three inches of snow is possible in Sierra Vista by tomorrow morning. 27 in Pierce tonight, 24 in Douglas. Plenty cold enough for the roads to freeze, not just the bridges in Santa Cruz and Cochise counties where temps in Nogales down to 25 tonight. We will be up to 55 in three points. So the warm up begins tomorrow and by Valentine's Day we will be thinking what was that? I don't remember any snow. 53 tomorrow, 61 on Ash Wednesday, mass on Ash Wednesday in the morning. If you're going to an early one, you need a heavy coat. The afternoon masses will be fine. 67 on Valentine's Day up to 70 by Friday and oh, here we go back up into the lower to middle 70s by Saturday and Sunday. President's Day weekend is a big ski weekend mm -hmm. in Arizona, of course. And we have two of the three resorts open right now, and it's going to be spring-like ski conditions with fresh mm -hmm. snow, yes. and you can ski in shorts if you're brave enough. The Perfect best timing. Kind. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Chuck. Rebecca. Thanks, Chuck. One local youngster shoots for glory and scores a chance to make Tucson proud. That story's coming up next. Plus, you may not believe the log jam that is